Today I thought we would talk about installing a backsplash using peel and stick tiles. These are from Tic Tac Tiles and they're kind of a minty green called Mist. This goes with kind of a popular retro vintage color of seafoam green and aqua and teal um, for kitchens or bathrooms. And this is both heat resistant and water resistant. So as long as your stove has a back plate, um, as most of them do, then these should be fine. And they are beautiful and easy to install. You can get them directly from the Tic Tac Tiles website or Amazon, Walmart, Wayfair, Home Depot, Lowe's, all sell these online and uh, in a variety of colors. They are basically a giant peel and stick sticker with very sticky adhesive backing and there is a slight 3D effect to the tiles so that they actually look like real tiles. Um, be careful not to touch the edges uh, too much with your fingers and um, just go slow and take your time. You want to leave the white spaces that you see on there because that is what overlaps and the tile sticks to that other side. You start in a corner and make a straight edge and then go across from there. Do your best to only stick it down once and if you kind of roll up the bottom to get the top edge um, to line up first and then press down the top and then move down, it is the best way. Now I use a kitchen towel after I pressed it down to really firmly press it down. Uh, because it is kind of rubbery, your hand is not going to get enough pressure. Now corners, um, where you're going to need to do some trimming are where it gets the trickiest. So you want to use a measuring tape and kind of eyeball where it's going to go and then use either a piece of normal paper or the backing paper from towel you've already used um, to estimate where you're going to need to cut so that you don't end up ruining um, a tile. By using the backing um, of a tile, you can trim this as many times as you need to get just the perfect fit. Um, and here I'm pressing down a crease so that I know my walls are not necessarily 100% straight, but that way I can get uh, the perfect fit. If you have a more complicated tile pattern than just the subway, like the hexagon tile they have, you could do a photocopy of the front of the tile um, and then tape out and space all your tiles that way. Every tile is sacred, even the little bits that you cut off, so save those because they might just fit exactly into a spot you're going to need later. Dry lay the real towel one more time to make sure that everything fits perfectly. Now we're on to the second row and we're once again going to start with a straight edge and be very careful that the grout lines from the stickers line up evenly because where a row ends and starts is where you're really going to see it and if you start out crooked then everything after that will be crooked as well. From here on out we're going to speed up the video so it goes a little faster. 
but you can see uh, you don't need any skill for this. So there's no additional supplies. So it is about $4 per square foot, which is not the cheapest, but it's not the most expensive if you consider having to buy grout or cement backer board or special tools or spacers for tile. So um, I really recommend these tiles. A couple of different companies make them. I really like Tic Tac tiles. Here we are doing the last tile, hooray! And uh, these come in a pack of 10, and so these uh, came out perfect. I had one extra tile, and one tile I'd kind of messed up the edges of, so everything worked out, and I could not be happier with how it transformed the backsplash look of my kitchen. Here is the tile with kind of more natural sunlight rather than the oven light above it. I'm trying to show you the color. Um, it's kind of a very muted mint green blue. So I think it's mild enough that it will kind of match everything. Um, it's definitely not gray. It can look a little bit gray um, in photos, but it is definitely a kind of minty vintage retro subway tile. Um, it matches my green aqua and red kitchen, but it could match a lot of other color schemes as well. Here's what my kitchen looked like before I did any painting or tile work in the back. Um, if you like retro Kitchen, stick around because I have a lot more videos on how I did up this kitchen. As always, thank you for watching and don't forget to like, comment, or subscribe.